everybody. Uh, so my name's Kay. Um, this is my third Write the Docs Portland. And uh, you might have seen me around. I have this characteristic that makes me easy to spot in a crowd. And I am, of course, talking about my large camera. <laughs> so uh, I'm here to document the documentarians. And um, over the course of the conference, I will take somewhere around three to 4,000 raw shots. Um, most of them are not very good, but this is the nature of event photography. And so from those raw shots, I will then uh, edit um, somewhere between 150 to 300 final shots. And they end up on the Write the Docs uh, Flickr stream. Um, some of them get tweeted, and um, they also get used in promotional material for the conference. So I hate having my photo taken. Um, I, I, got, I got a strange head. I'm always pulling a weird face. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm behind the camera, not in front of it. Uh, and I know that a lot of you out there have the same kind of feelings. So I just wanted to tell you that it is my absolute top priority to make sure that I never post a photo of someone that is not flattering. So <laughs> if you... <laughs> so if you see the camera pointing in your direction, please do not panic. I, I never post photos of people eating or with their mouth open, which can be tricky with the speakers, but I'll get to that. <laughs> so yeah, so I thought today I'd come and give you a few tips on how you can make my job easier, and also the photos just better, generally. Uh, so for speakers, um, when you're on stage, you have your mouth open a lot of the time because you're speaking. That's why you're a speaker. And uh, unfortunately, it is quite difficult to take a good photo of someone when they have their mouth open. So uh, I have a tip for speakers, uh, anyone who's thinking about speaking, um, that is actually not just for getting good photos, but it is actually a good speaking tip generally. And that is that uh, you don't actually have to be talking the entire time that you're on stage. And so um, what you can do, totally allowed, is you can pause. And it's sometimes nice. You can just you can stop, you can pause, you can breathe, you can think about what it is that you're going to say next, and that gives me an opportunity to get a good photo of you without you going like... Um, the other tip is that, uh, especially if you're kind of behind the lectern a lot of the time, sometimes the light here is a bit weird. The projector can like cast funny shadows on your face, funny colours. So uh, walk around, use the stage, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get uh, a better shot of you. Like you know, the light is better. I think it's towards the front. Maybe it's kind of hard to see, but yeah. Uh, and also for attendees, uh, especially tonight at the party, um, believe it or not, I'm actually quite shy. I find it very difficult to go up to people and say, oh my god, can I take your photo? So if you see me and you offer to have you say, take our photo, take our photo, gather your friends around, um, I will be so over the moon happy, you have no idea at all. You <laughs> totally make my night. Um, so yeah, and yeah, I mean, when you're taking photos, especially at the party, um, bunching in nice and close and, uh, and holding still for like a couple of seconds, because it's very low light, it's hard to get the good photos when people are moving. Um, then the photos from the conference will look beautiful. People will look at the Flickr stream and say, wow, those documentarians, <laughs> not just smart, also really good looking. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you. Um, enjoy the party.